Hello, it's me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. The seventh day of August. And uh, think, think of what these words of St. Paul bring to your mind. Uh, St. Paul writes in uh, his first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aim aim aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. What does that bring to your mind as we go on this, this, uh, this week of August, as we continue in this week of August? Yes, probably this is the last week of the Olympics. And somehow, just thinking about those games and what's going on, and you know, some are watching, some are not. But yes, it brings to mind those words of St. Paul. And indeed, Maybe I thought that maybe just uh, talking about those words and maybe as if you're watching the Olympics, it may draw your spirit, your soul into these games as you think about the, 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 the journey, maybe call it the race as St. Paul calls us, the race that we are all running, the race to God's heaven, the race to that crown, that, that prize that awaits all of us. Indeed, Christ has set it up for us. And so, I wonder, you know, when you think of life, you know, it, it is it is not easy. It is not easy, this race that we are on. In, indeed, as much as the Lord is with us and has graced us and we, we have all the graces that we need to run this, this race, we, we have all the equipment, but we also have the enemy, you know, the, de the devil, the, the, the Satan, the tempter is always around to, to, to try to draw us away from this that we need to do, from the race, from the training, from all the work that needs to be done. But I have the sense that maybe this is a case of every player is a winner, you know, because the, the, it's already set. The crown is already set. Anyone who dares, anyone who takes a hold of the, the, the tools and the graces that have been given will win because we win not because of how well whatever we train, but we win because of him who empowers us. We may call him the coach, we may call him the, the manager of this team of Christians, of Catholics, but our Lord Jesus Christ has given us all we need in order to attain the crown, the crown that he has already attained through his suffering, his death and resurrection that gives us the ability not only to be children of God, but the ability to walk this life, to run this race. So. I don't know how you run your race. Uh, maybe I would think that those who are, you know, parents, maybe yours is a case of a relay, you know. You have to pass that baton on to the, to, to the young one so that they can continue to run. But ultimately, I think all of us will get there because the Lord has already said it. All we have to do is remain faithful. Keep, fix our eyes on the prize, which is eternal life, and the rest is the, the, the strength and courage of the Lord that we receive as we continue on, as we continue to follow where he has led, the one who has set the, 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 the route or, or the route, whatever, however you say it, that leads us to eternal life. And then listen to these words of St. Paul. I think these are so beautiful. St. Paul's second letter to Timothy, uh, chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. He writes, I have completed well. I have competed well. I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. Wow, beautiful words as St. Paul contemplates the fact that he has lived, he has run the race. I pray that all of us have our eyes fixed on the prize, which is Jesus Christ. And that's what we need in order to run and win and receive the crown, because on our own, we cannot. But 
as long as we remain faithful to our Lord, as long as we keep our, our eyes fixed on the Lord, we will be able to run the race and also come to that point where with St. Paul we can say we have competed well. Friends, brothers and sisters, love because you are loved. Amen.